the first thing you want to do is upload the parameters from the instrument to PDF. In this example, we are using the LR560 with HART protocol. First, go to this first fourth icon. That's upload to PG PC. Go down to the start button, click on that, and that's going to begin the process to upload all the parameters from the instrument to PDM. This is important so you can see what the instrument is set up for. From your basic calibration parameters to your echo processing parameters. Once this finishes, just close this window and you are going to go under device down to echo profile utilities, select that and that's just going to take a little bit of time to upload all the parameters on the echo processing and the echo profile. When do you want to do manual TBT? In some applications, you will have some obstructions such as supporting beams, pipes, ladders, and it, even in some cases, you'll have some false echoes. Manual TVT shaping can ignore those obstructions or echoes. Just remember this. The red line is the TVT curve. Anything below the TVT curve is ignored or avoided. Anything that crosses above the red line or the TVT curve is taken into consideration as an echo. So there are many ways you can manipulate the curve. You can go on a positive threshold going up or a negative going down. In this example, we're going to go on the positive side to raise the TVT curve to ignore two false echoes or obstructions. As you can see, this is the echo profile utilities. You can see saved echo profiles, TBT shaper, out of false echo suppression, and echo setup. As you can see, the black line is the echo marker, the actual echo that it thinks it's detecting or seeing. In this case, we're using this as a supporting beam. The second echo is a pipe. The third echo is the actual target or material. So how are we going to select the third echo to be the actual true echo? We're going to ignore, ignore the first and second. How do we do that? Go under the third tab, TVT Shaper. Now you'll see a compressed profile. On this left side, you'll see two little black lines going up and down. That's your window for your points. As you can see we're on point one. If you click on the positive point two, it's slightly moved. I'm going to hit it a couple of times so you can see it move. Point three, point four. 0.5, and so on. We're going to go right before the first echo. Click on that several times. And we'll start there, 0.10. Now, the right hand side, the offset, is raising or lowering the TVT curve. So, positive number raises it, negative number lowers it. You go on the positive side, you'll start to see the red TVT to rise up. You want to go right slightly above the peak. So we're going to do 16, or actually let's do 17 so you can see. Now we're going to go to point 11. See how the black lines shifted a little bit to the right? 
to offset again the positive side and see it start to rise. Go to point 0.12. Let's do a shortcut. Instead of clicking on the positive offset, change the 0 to 16. Go to your next point. We'll do one more. 16. There you go. Can see it will shift a little couple of times. The red TVT raised right above the first false echo. Remember, anything below the TVT curve is ignored. Now let's go to the second echo. Now we're going to go on the positive side with 0.17. We're at 11 decibels. Let's go to point 0.18. We're going to do shortcut, 11 decibels. Point 0.19, 11 decibels. You can see now a red line TVT curve is ignoring that second echo. Once that's done, you want to hit the transfer to device. That's going to transfer all the set points that we changed on your breakpoints to the instrument, the LR560. <clears throat> it has successfully executed. Now, if you hit the measure button, it's going to take another echo profile. You can see there's changes to the signal and the TVT curve is staying with the changes we made. Once this is done, let's go back to the echo profile window. You'll see this was the before, the first echo, second, and third. The echo marker is locking onto this first false echo, or supporting beam in this example. Make sure your resolution is set to detail, not standard. Detail gives you a smoother curve, the standard gives you more of a boxy lines. Hit the measure. couple of seconds or about 20 seconds. Now you're going to see the TVT curve adjust according to our changes. Watch where your echo marker, the black line. The echo marker is the actual echo that it's detecting based on the TVT curve and your algorithms. As you can see, the red TVT in the example that we use, we raise it up above the first echo and the second echo. Now your echo marker is selected on the third echo. That's how you use manual TVT shape. One last thing to do is Close this window, 
we made all those changes on the TBT shaper. Make sure you upload from the instrument back to PDM. 